Alright, so this is going to be border crossing, and we are going to be doing it pacifist, which is a fucking nightmare by the way, let me tell ya. So on this mission, there's just so many guards, especially on day 2, it's really really tricky to get them cage doors open without um, guards seeing and stuff like that, not being able to kill. But let's go into the pre planning first. So the pre planning on this map, you don't want any border bags, anything like that, not really necessary. Ammo bag maybe, but we're going to bring one for the saw. Surveillance, the spy cam here. Easily accessible and will mark a hell of a lot of guards, so I would advise taking this one. As a backup, Ilya the sniper, don't really need the sniper. The upper floor access, the reason why you want to grab this is purely because if a civilian spawns here, which he does, you're probably fucked. The reason for that is, if you try and go through here, he'll probably see. You can't go in the door because you'd have to go past them. Um, and even if you get alerted, you can't kill him because we're doing pacifist. And cable tying him and leaving him, the guy here might be able to see him. But a guy eventually comes here, and when he comes here, he turns his head, and he will see. It's happened to me a couple of times. And you can't walk this guy into the wall to put his head in for some stupid reason. It's like there's an invisible barrier block on his way. So he literally just keeps dropping on the floor. So you want to avoid the civilian. So these stairs are the best way to get around this idiot civilian. Then you've got the roof access. You're going to want to buy the roof access because it'll give you access to get into the camera room easily. And obviously we don't need the cameras turning off, but I'm just saying... This area where the cameras can be, there's always a keycard in one of two locations. And a keycard is going to be handy. That'll mean we'll have access to two keycards. We can open two cage doors. It's really going to help us. So, pretty good. And you can access the roof as well, obviously. And then the briefing room keys, just to make day one easier. And that's pretty much all we need. Now about the build, we're on 12 detection. We've got a saw. I don't have a judge. I've got a Gruber. The Gruber is because I think it's one of the lowest concealment guns in the game. Probably the lowest I could find as a secondary. And with a saw doing stealth, it allows me to get down to 12 detection. Now I'm usually at 16 detection with the judge, but the difference between 16 and 12, I have noticed it. It is a good difference. So I am going to be bringing um, the Gruber. The reason we don't even need the judge, we don't need to blast doors open. You can easily do it with the pistol or just pick lock. We don't need to do any killing. So a pistol is a good replacement and it'll take four concealments off. Pretty good. Trip bands for keeping track of guards and an ammo bag just in case we run out of ammo for the saw because we don't have Berserker Frenzy so it won't be opening insanely quick so we may need more ammo and that's pretty much the build so let's see if we can do border cross and pacifist don't stop too long friends this is bad country now on day one um pretty easy not really a lot of problems on day one to be honest left right whatever way you want to go The only thing is we're doing pacifist now, is there's cameras on day one which are pretty annoying and there's cameras on day two that are very annoying and sadly we're not capable of turning any of them off. So that is a bit of a problem. Thankfully we have hacker, thankfully we can loop but having the cameras on, yeah, pretty annoying. So we can either go for them first or we can either come up and do the briefing room. We get the keys, I'm going to do the keys just purely because there's guards and civilians blocking the path. Camera room? No, oh, okay. Um, 2002. So one of the codes potentially is 2002. You got a guy coming. Keep walking, man, keep walking. Door open, get the keys. Briefing room can be C4 on the wall sometimes. Crowbar, keycard, good for day two. So the code is the reset code. Okay, we'll go down and get it. So, another important thing on day two, where the cage doors are, the ones that are above the computer room where you can open them with the remote access kind of thing, um, there can be a door that leads to the vaults. You guys probably seen this in the um, all we run. I'm not going to grab the blueprints for a very simple reason. If you grab the blueprints, the door to the vault becomes um, accessible. A door appears. When you don't grab it, um, the door doesn't spawn. The reason I don't want the door to spawn is purely because it will give access to a guard to go down there. And you kind of think it's a safe spot, but it's actually got me screwed on a couple of occasions. Because I thought it was kind of a safe spot and it turned out to not be, so... Um, I can get surprised down there if I'm forced to go there because, you know, I'm getting spotted by a camera and I have to quickly go down there. I'm just taking a risk 
One way to disregard it, and I'd rather. Damn, that was a bit close. And I'd rather avoid the risk. So, um, I'm not gonna get the blueprints when I'm doing pacifist. I kinda need the civilian to go. Is he going? Hmm, can we open this behind him? Okay. I've also realized we didn't get the reset code yet, did we? Reset code is all ones, four ones. Okay. Time to go to Mexico, friends. But yeah, this is where it gets really difficult. Now, obviously, we're praying that it's cocaine. Definitely the best loot can easily be found and very fast to move. Money, again, easily found. Moderate to move, not really too difficult, not insanely easy. Weapons, difficult to find because they're usually always in cage doors and they are heavy. Weapons are the nightmare here, we do not want them. Cocaine ideal, money not bad, weapons, oh my god, no, please, anything but that. That's kind of what we're hoping for. So I'm kind of hoping our friend Loch doesn't screw me. Also, you're far enough away, oh shit, let me just loot this, I forgot. You're far enough away from them civilians to be able to do this. Do this. Okay, we got one of each, that's good. Um, now this civilian that I was talking about, where you can't really move him. Oh god, he's there. You see what I mean? That's kind of the problem. He's there. Okay, cooking. I don't know what we need just as of yet. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, good, good, good. Um, stairs. Got something else here. Okay. So this is the route. This is why we bought them stairs. The Going past that guy. Not exactly ideal. So this is why we came um, up here. You can come here rather than having to go over to where he is. You see what I mean? He's just in an annoying position. You can't walk him there or there to put his head through the wall. You just can't do it. Really annoying. Those guys didn't spawn there. That's also very good. We want to keep this door shut just so guards don't get a different route to attack us from. I'm gonna put a trip man here. Oh, camera's there. I'm gonna loop this. You can set up a drill on these three, no problem. And this will never ever see. This one, however, will. So if you want to avoid using key cards and wasting sword ammo here, ignore that camera, but make sure you have this on loop constantly. You need this on loop. If you don't, it will see. Okay. okay, now I'm just going to see if I can quickly see what kind of loot we need, if I can get to the plane before the camera becomes active again. Just put a trip man. Okay, that's enough. I don't want this going off. Okay, so these cage doors are open, it's a good start. The plane, good, get this door open as well. Come on, Lock, don't give me weapons, please. Oh, beautiful, damn, it's me lucky day. Drugs we're after, ooh, drugs. Okay, it's as good as we can get, but I'm hoping we can take full advantage of it. Oh shit, where the hell am I going? I'm going the wrong way. So we just checked in uh, cocaine. No, cocaine. No, okay. But yeah, it's over there. Stop spotting. It's over there where shit's crazy. Like all of them cage doors, and there's like 10 enemies, two civilians, blah blah blah. It's like, oh my god, there's so much shit going on over there. And obviously, there's. um You can't just like do this side and do that side and get enough loot. To get enough loot for the objective on this map, you have to go to all areas. And doing over there, yes, it's the nightmare area if you're trying to do it without killing anybody. That's why you want me detection as low as possible. This guy as well, I'm not quite sure. Hmm, I'm not quite sure where this guy is. Hmm, can't see him. Okay, cocaine. 
So yeah, first things first. Oh my god, I was gonna go out that way because I'm so used to it, but I forgot. We need to take the safe route. At least we've got cocaine, so it's much faster. It's not a big deal. Mark him. But yeah, we can probably get between maybe six, seven, eight, nine bags maybe this side if we're lucky it's obviously rng depends and over that side maybe the last three that's where you kind of want to save your key cards your sword ammo for you want to try and drill everything else if you can or use the sword but over there obviously you want to try and minimize the risk and the best way of minimizing the risk is to use the key card now this guy's in a bad spot well he was in a bad spot But also this guy. I should have put a trip man down just to mark this guy. I don't know where he is as of right now. I was gonna jump for that package, but <laughs> couldn't get to it. Right, so let me see. Hmm. Genuinely not sure where that guy is. But yeah, this map, when you're doing challenges on it, like this, like what I'm doing, for example, it's all about learning. You need to learn the map. You need to learn the locations. You need to learn whether it's right to bring a saw, where and when to use the key cards, what pages to use, blah, blah, blah. This is just general stealth I'm kind of talking about. Not, you know, challenges like this as well. Um, yeah, just basically just learn the map. It's all about experience. And um, obviously, once you can do it regular stealth, you can begin doing challenges like these. So yeah, before we get over there, I'll probably predict maybe six or seven bugs. Oh my god. Nearly forgot to crouch. Is this guy really gonna block them stairs again? He is, isn't he? That door, you can open that door, but... Oh wait, that guy triggered the trip, man, okay. You can open this door, but I wouldn't advise doing it because I'm not sure what guard, but at least one of them begins taking the path. <clears throat> Which isn't good. You don't want any guards taking routes that you're not sure of because... It'll mess you up and it'll end up catching you out at one point. You'll go walking through thinking you're safe and you're not safe. Okay, this guy's here now. That's what I kept hitting me head on before. Six cents. That's why we all love six cents. Finally, the package that's been kind of telling me to come and grab it. I can finally grab it. Okay, so let me just check. Nothing... Nothing. Oh, wait, wait, cooking. Oh, yeah, I opened it. Okay. And I don't believe there was anything in there. And I keep going to go out this way, man. It's such a habit. Okay, four so far. Not so bad. Okay, so there's at least, let me think. I think there's at least one more um, cage door. Yeah, there is. There's one more cage door that I haven't opened yet. So again, the guard. I've just got to kind of keep track of this guy because I'm not sure where he is. Where the hell is he? Let me six cents here because I'm convinced the Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. Now, did we take the cocaine out of here? No, we didn't. Okay, since he's there, we'll come back in a minute, but um, that cage door over there, yep, that's going to be the next one, if there's any cocaine in it. But yeah, so far, it's a pretty good start, but that's all we've done so far. It's only a good start, nothing more. Split these two guards. Okay, this guy's now over here. Or he was, is he turning back? No, he's chilling. Okay, good. Good, 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 man. Good, just chill. Hmm, camera. Yep. Now you can drill this, but obviously it's risky because the patrols, the patterns, sometimes you think they're gonna be there a while, they immediately turn, and then they begin coming in your direction, and you're like, oh shit. 
So obviously since we've got hmm, hold on, let me try. Uh, I'll actually put a trip mount here for this guy, so. Um since we've got Wait, is there any cocaine in there? Oh damn, there's two. Okay, beautiful. Um since we've got sword ammo and we've still got an ammo bag as well, don't we? Let me see. Yeah we do. Um, there's no point in taking a risk with a drill when you can easily saw when you've got the ammo to last. So, obviously, yeah, look, if this is a 40 second drill, I don't know how long it's been, but he'd probably see it with like, what, 10 seconds left now? So that's what I mean about, um, you got to be careful. you got to think about what you're doing. By the way, look at this. Oh, there's another package. I got it. Look at me saw. Look how, how cute the saw is. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't think it was deadly, would you, being pink? Can't really see from here properly. Got to wonder who has the resources to pack the dentist in all this. Is he the top of the food chain, or is there more to this bribe? Come on, man, get the hell out of here. Also, a gas can, pretty nice, purely because of purely because of um later on when refueling the plane. Oh my god, this camera, man. Okay, so now just let him get a little bit away. Okay, two more cocaine, beautiful. I keep forgetting that I kind of have to run on the top floor now. It's really confusing me because I'm, I'm so used to just going through doors. Oh, damn. And now the fu- okay, that's good, he's just kind of out the way. Oh, there's three of them here? Damn. Um, but yeah, I'm just so used to going through the doors rather than running along like the roof balcony kind of things. Okay, since they're all doing that, I might as well go through the middle. So I think there was seven cocaine in total, which means it's going to be five on that location. I'm hoping we're going to get lucky and in the like four, five, six crates that's that side. I'm hoping we can get maybe two more cocaine at least. And then obviously only having to open maybe three or four of the doors, the cage doors, rather than, you know, every single one of them. The more we have to open, the more risk we're going to be exposing ourselves to. And then if we can get done with it, it's just about being extremely careful then as we actually fuel the plane, if we're done. Annoying, annoying. Just doesn't come in here, he's in the way. Hmm. Maybe I can sneak past him. Can I sneak past maybe? Uh huh, we can. Okay, good, good. Civilian! Oh my god, I've nearly ran into that guy every single occasion. Alright, so this is these two major parts done. All the loot there. All the loot here, and now the most difficult part, that's where we're headed to next, and we're going to need five bags from over there. This guy's here, but it's not a big deal, he's not going to see us, he's not, we're too fast for him to see us. Too fast and we don't even have Hacker. Hey, we don't even have Yakuza, I mean. So this is where I'd like to get lucky with, you know, cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. Just saves me opening the things. Money, not ideal. Now something I did try and it doesn't work and I'm kind of going to find out. Oh, it's not good. It's not good. Sometimes you can get one civilian and he's only facing that way. Sometimes you can get one like this guy and he's only facing this way. And sometimes you can get both. This guy is the worst because these cage doors now... Uh, you can open them and he won't hear them, but you're not going to have much time in his line of sight because you can't get clear of him. As far back as we go, he'll still see us. So him being there is RNG and it's RNG which is pretty bad at the minute. It's very, very bad. It's making this a lot more difficult. Okay, I don't believe there was anything in there, was there? Let me see. No, there wasn't. Damn, not a good start this side. Not a good start indeed. And obviously, as you know, there's no way you can deal with this civilian. That's the door that would have spawned. Hmm. Annoying. Really, really annoying. Even setting trip mines up is kind of difficult. Just be 
because there's so much shit everywhere. Oh damn, see me through a forklift. Ah oh, man, this is so risky man, this is so fucking risky. Do have the cameras as well, which will help us slightly, but... See, if that civilian wasn't there, once there's a gap like him not here, so, 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 and you'll be on about 10 cocaine maybe. The fact he's here now, I mean look, it'll only take me like, what, 3 seconds for him to see me? I've got to get out so, and quickly get in and dodge him. It's not ideal man, it's really not. I could quickly go there, but again, I've just got to keep an eye out for guards potentially above and below. But yeah, isn't it crazy that civilian spawn locations can literally determine whether you win or lose? RNG, payday RNG in a nutshell. Oh my god. Okay, so I do want to check. The worst thing is, I'm going to have to saw these. What am I? Let me see. I was going to say, I'm going to have to saw these because I genuinely can't see if there's coke in it. So I might be wasting saw ammo. But I don't think I can get a line of sight to check. There's too many people all around me, it's really difficult to see. Can we see? Oh my god, damn. Didn't know he was there. Why are these guys just constantly here, man? Give me a break, seriously? I'm trying to get past, just give me a break. I think there's been like, what, two minutes now of constant guards here? Sometimes this path is completely clear and they're all that side, like, come on. Get the fuck out the way. Okay. Let me in. <laughs> That's what I mean about the guy. You see what I mean about how risky that is? If you're not fast with the sword or you need to reload, the um, detection will just keep going up because there's no way you can hide. So, gotta make sure we are ready for them. But yeah, these last five bags are gonna be very tricky. Now don't forget, we do have a keycard, but I'm just kind of wondering... Hmm. I'm just kind of wondering where and when to use the keycard. I wonder who has the resources to pack the dentist in all this? Is he the top of the food chain? Cocaine? There yes, there's a cocaine there, I see him. That's what I mean, man. You gotta be fast. If you're not fast, you will get spotted. Hmm, just gotta be careful with this guy wherever he decides to go. But yeah, I've gotta admit, doing stuff pacifist, um, I enjoy doing it because sometimes it's just pure stealth. There's no RNG, sometimes it's just a mission in which if you take your time, you know what you're doing, it's good. This mission, at least on day two, it's heavily RNG based, depending on the loot you get, how heavy it is, um, guards in the way, civilians in the way, blah blah blah, you can't deal with them. Yes, this mission is heavily RNG based when you're doing something like Pacifist. And if you have bad RNG, people just in the way and stuff, it can make your life a nightmare. And at the minute, it's kind of been okay for me. I got cocaine, which is good RNG. And then I've had two civilians in the worst possible spots, which is bad RNG. So I guess it's kind of evened out for me at the minute. I guess I'd rather have the setup I've got now than the civilians be in good spots, but having to carry weapons. Okay, you got the last location. Just gotta be careful of guards. Let me let me six sense if there's any guards above me. Him there, him there. Oh wait, he's the camera guy. Okay, they're in that room. They can't see me. This guy can see me though. Okay, he's gone that way. Okay, so there's three cage doors left and there's a lot of um, crates. Obviously getting to them crates is extremely difficult because there's at least two, three guards patrolling everywhere. And we don't have enough trip man set up that side. 
because we can't get there to set them up. And also, we don't know whether the, the cameras will pick all the guards up. Hmm, so at the minute, I'm kind of worried do I go this side somehow, even though that's really difficult. Or do I continue that side and slowly try and make my way in? There's no easy way to get these last two bags, no, there really isn't. And we're doing so well, you don't really want to fuck it up, but it's not really in your control, it's... Yeah, it's one of them, really. You're just kind of hoping you have a little gap where you can get through, maybe. So, I've got two key cards. So, if I can find the last two cage doors with cocaine, key card in one, go all the way around, get the key card from upstairs, and then do the same. The only thing that can really trip me up now is if I accidentally bump a guard. Like, if I genuinely just don't know he's there because the camera doesn't pick him up or something, and then you turn the corner, whack, game over. Something like that would be very, very frustrating right now, but... Um... It's a real possibility of what could potentially happen. There can also be a guard just chilling in here. Hmm, I don't like him, man. I really don't like this spot. Okay, let me see. Ah, cocaine, cocaine. Yes, give me cocaine. This reminds me of an op I did many hmm. years ago. I'll be honest with you, I don't get nervous a lot playing Payday, only on occasions when I'm doing stuff like this, and it's something really difficult and you're doing well. As of right now, I'll be honest, I am very fucking nervous right now. Very fucking nervous. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. Don't like where this guy's going. You can't climb up this, can you? I don't think you can... No, you can't. Nothing else you can... Um, no. No, you can't climb up, can you? If only there was a cocaine here, I'd just be like, yes, but no, sadly no. Oh, God. Civilian me. So, yeah, the plan now is to go all the way around. Let me keep track of guards. plan now is to get up in that room, and there's a keycard up there somewhere. Get that keycard, come all the way back around to where it was. Hopefully we can creep up to the next door or open a crate. Get the last cocaine, and that's probably... Oh my god, I thought he was walking towards me then, one of these two. And then, um, that should probably be it. Don't get too close in case there's a guard chilling here. We just use six cents. Better to be safe than sorry at this point. Okay, I knew it. I knew it. Trying to screw me. He's trying to screw me. By the way, I don't know what did he change there. Does anybody remember this heist when it came out? You know the trucks, like you know the fire starter type trucks. Okay, he's gone. See these two or three that are in a line here? I could have swore that you could have drilled them back in the day when the heist first came out. That you used to be able to drill them and there was loot in the back. I don't think they're drillable anymore. Was that something that they changed? Because I honestly could have swore you were able to um, to drill them. But I don't think you can anymore, unless it's only in loud maybe. I'm really not sure. Okay, keycard. Keycard's not there, so it must be there. It is... <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, man, holy shit. I completely forgot he might be there. Oh my god. I completely forgot he might be there. Holy shit. Ah, so that keycard's not exactly in a good spot. Being there would have been perfect. Fuck. I can't believe that just happened, man. That should have been. I should have got spotted right there. Hmm. Don't you dare see me. Okay, we got it. Hmm. Oh my god, man, they're all surrounding me. Come on, man, get out the way, please. But yeah, I completely. That's what I mean. 
When you're doing pass first, it only takes one mistake. That was a mistake, and it was very, very nearly fatal. Very nearly fatal. I don't know what it was that nearly seen me, whether it was the camera or whether it was him, but something was extremely close to seeing me. But yeah, that's what happens when you're doing stuff like these. It only takes one mistake, even a minor mistake, just a lack of concentration. And that's what can happen. 30 minutes of hard work down the drain. Thankfully, we got away with it. I think I just seen that guy underneath me. Yes, we did. Um, why am I in this room exactly? In fact, you know what? Let me just let me just open this. Doesn't really matter now too much. Wait! Oh my god, I'm an idiot, man. What am I doing? I've still got this cocaine. I didn't even. Oh my god, I'm an idiot, man. That's the stress of what just happened. I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get a game over. No. That's the stress of what's going on, man. It's um, I literally forgot to throw the the cocaine, and now I'm. I was literally on my way to a very difficult area, and I wouldn't have been, I wouldn't have even been able to grab the bag. Like how stupid was that? Okay. God, where are you? Is that him? Yep, it was. Okay, beautiful. Let's so have a quick double check. No cocaine, no cocaine, no money, okay, money, no cocaine, damn. Would have been too easy, wouldn't it, the last one just being there? But yeah, this now, man, the fact I've got to go even deeper to try and get this last bag now, yeah, I'm fucking nervous as hell. Now I know there's a crate there potentially. By the way, since I just don't trust these guys, I'm just gonna put a trick man. I just simply don't trust. It's not really gonna help me because if he comes in, where the fuck am I gonna hide in this room? Hmm, isn't there a crate here somewhere that I can grab? Uniforms, no, no uniforms. Crates, hmm, over there. He's gone back that way. Anybody here? No, but there is a camera. Oh my god, man. Fucking camera. Great. Oh, come on, come on. This is the only one I can get. Yes! Give me that cocaine. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Now, another thing. I've just got to be careful of is. Mm, no, can't risk it. There's civilians there. Another thing I've got to be careful of now is when we're refueling the plane. You might be in a good position right now, but you're still not done. You've still got to refuel the plane. There's still at least three, four different objectives, areas you're going to have to go to and do. So, um. Oh, damn, that guy. I didn't even know he was there. So, yeah, I'm just kind of hoping the tank here. And everything else isn't in a horrible position. Where is it? Hmm, I don't think that's good to be honest. But yeah, my stress levels are through the roof right now, just so you guys know. Hmm. Is it better going this way? So fucking nervous. I don't. I don't like this one little bit. I do not like this at all. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, man. Holy shit. So this guy's finally coming, is he? So since this guy is in, I'm kind of going to do this because... Oh my god, man. Can't get out of there on an I'm hoping he triggers that. The, the trip man I'm in. 
Come on, man, trigger that trip, man, because I need to know where the fuck you come from. Oh, civilian. Damn, I forgot. Hmm. By the way, I've had that happen. I only put a trip man at the door on one day. I haven't put one in the building before. And I have literally been in a position I'm in now. And as I'm coming there, he came out and we just hit each other. And I was like, oh shit. Damn, man. This map. Look how horrible it looks when you don't take guards out. It's just absolutely full of people everywhere, man. Yeah, turning that to explosive mode. <laughs> Wouldn't have been good. So yeah, just pay attention now. No silly mistakes. Just be careful. How's the refueling going? It's going good, man. It's going good. It's going very good. Just got to give it some time. Fuel is on its way. Hmm, these guards here or drive here? Yeah, you can climb the plane as well, just in case anyone didn't know. You can kind of just chill here with the band situation. I'm going to put me gun aiming down because, yeah, I don't want to accidentally shoot somebody. Okay. Got generator. So let me just chill here, kind of a safe spot, just keep an eye on things. So yeah, it's gonna be literally about what? 35 minute mission, something like that? I think we need to open this door now, don't we? Let me actually open it because I think we do need to open it now, just purely for um I can't remember what for. Oh wait, wait, that's good, because that one's not open. Okay. This I'm sure this is an objective unless it can spawn in a different place. Gotta refuel it again. Oh, more gas, shit. I've seen gas before, man. Where the hell did I see more gas? Fuck. Oh, damn. And there I was thinking I was done. Was it over here? I'm sure it was over here, wasn't it? In that building? Damn, look. Why'd you make me need two tanks, man? Greedy. Can't we just escape on one tank? We don't need two, surely. Gas tank. Someone, anyone, somewhere, anywhere. Was it here? Please say I see one here. Yes, I did. That's where it was. Just be a bit careful. So I think now it's just um just check. You, nobody else, right? We did open this now, so just pay attention. No one's accidentally gone in for some weird reason. So I think it's now. just this now. This should be it. Then I think he asks to open the doors there. And then I think you can escape. I think that's it. I know there's a few objectives at the end, but I think this is literally going to be it right now. Where are you going, man? Whoa, what the fuck? Thought he was literally gonna turn the corner on me, then I was like, really? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. But yeah, look how cute my soul looks. <laughs> Time to disconnect the house. The plane is all full. Plane is full. Detach the hose. Now it's open the gates, is it? Is it the one I thought it was? Yes, it is. <gasps> oh my god. Holy shit. And that could have been the end right there and then, and it still might be. Oh my god, man, you're gonna give me a fucking heart attack. What are you doing to me? Oh my god, man, these fucking guards. He fucking heart nearly jumped out of my chest. Of course, you come up for a visit on the very last objective. Oh my god. Yeah, 
He's coming back now. Wait, is he in or is he coming back? He's in, I think. Unlock the gates. And now we can get the fuck out of here. I was gonna rush to that, but there's too many people kind of in that area right now. Cameras, don't want a camera looking at me. Hello, camera. Really? Two of them? Back to back? Is it just me or any time you're close to finishing a heist? Oh, let me loop this. Oh shit. Fuck sake, man. Is it just me or is it just any time you're close to finishing a heist, the guards really seem to turn the heat up? They really start to do shit that puts you in really, really bad positions. That it's like it's a test, the final test. And damn, ah, man, it's so nervous. But yeah, there you go, guys. There is border crossing done, pacifist. No kills, no civilians, no guards, no enemies, nada, absolutamente nada. Pretty difficult, definitely up there with one of the most difficult things I've done on this game. Um, thank god we got the cocaine, otherwise it would have been a lot difficult with um, anything else. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Maybe you might have learned something about the map as well, I don't know. Maybe if somebody else likes these um, kind of challenges, these type of challenges. Maybe see if you can do it as well. See if you can um, try it fast first. Really is a good challenge. But um, thanks for watching guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, have a good day. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.